In this video, I'll prepare you for the hunger times coming up, when Pharaoh will refuse you food, because you don't want to take their end times chip. And I'll prepare you for the consequence, incarceration in Pharaoh's camps, for those who refuse the chip. Or just when you get arrested and put in the slammer because you did nothing wrong, as Swissy deliberately did to me, being a political prisoner for five and a half years, of which one year in an isolation cell without enough oxygen. Where it makes me think of that movie where the sniper once said it's amazing how physically exhausting it can be to do nothing while he's waiting for the target for days and without the oxygen i couldn't digest and eat because you need oxygen to digest it needed a solution quick in order to survive and here the difference between a soldier and a warrior becomes apparent as a soldier would never found the way out as they are too dumbed down and too indoctrinated by the system but where the spiritual aspect of the warrior got activated towards the solution so it says warriors warrior versus soldier I let it read I let you read it yourself. Just punch pause. Warrior versus soldier. There are a lot of soldiers in the world. But there are not so many warriors. There was a little bit more, but I can't scroll down any further. First of all, I thought about the Japanese warriors of Okinawa who say harahachibu, meaning to eat only up to 80% full, because 80% sustain the man, the other 20% sustain the doctor. And that you should never eat 100% full, which comes out of the Confucian teachings, to eat only two thirds full and leave one third for air, which I've been knowing almost for all my life at that point, and only now became very critical knowledge. So here you can read about it here Harahachibu. Japanese, but it finally comes out of China and maybe even originally from India, from the Ayurveda. So here it says in China, the Confucian belief system dating back to the 5th century BC in China, um, in Chinese medicine, only eats 70% full and wear 30% less. Right, here's some more in the Zen. Harajibu. Anyway, a warrior should be lean and mean, and not like a blown-up Hollywood action hero bodybuilder. Also, in the regiment, the soldiers used to be thin, small, skinny dudes, more focused on perseverance than strength and mostly mental perseverance to be able to function under all circumstances instead of a Hollywood's screen warrior's one minute take under perfect conditions. Now here it says lean and mean. You see, you give him a, a mean blow in the solar plexus or something. Then I compared my digestion 
with a car's carburetor that mixes the fuel with the oxygen to get the perfect combustion. And as there was hardly any oxygen in the cell, I needed to go down on the fuel and eat less at a time. So here you see a carburetor of a car. Here is the air going in. And on this side is the fuel going in. And it mixes the whole thing. And uh, here as well. The air coming in here. And here's the fuel coming in. And it mixes it here in a Venturi. And here you can see the combustion. So here it says keep calm and clean your carb. So... This is actually the low the low carb diet. I call it the carburetor diet, which you can see here. So I hid the food after it got delivered through a little hole in the door and started to eat just a spoonful every half an hour without drinking anything, which I finally did in the evening, drinking, that is, drinking water. Thus, I ate like a carburetor for a perfect combustion until 1800 hours, and from then on, only drank water onwards for the whole evening. But also the water I drank at half an hour intervals. Thus, I lost over 30 kilos over the three and a half months Swissy had put me in prison the last time in 2015, just before I finally left the entire damn country for good two months later. It is thus that I preserved my physical and most of all mental health while staring at the walls without oxygen for years inside a tiny Swiss prison cell for political prisoners. A warrior must be always ready to transform and adapt the given situation. So when food will be scarce in the end times because of a global civil war being enforced by the masters. With my carburetor diet, you will hardly need any food and not be hungry either. And if you have to go to jail for any kind of civil disobedience, with Homie Ross, his carburetor diet, you can beat the system inside of a tiny prison cell. So here you see the transformation, and it says transform, adapt. Also, all the happy drinks like coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, or alcohol wouldn't do you any good in an isolation cell, because all the new age era happy drinks are social drinks, whereas you are alone in a cell and you don't necessarily want to socialize with the rapist in the cell to your left, or with the murderer to your right. As in prison, you best keep to yourself and just drink water. As in former days, prisoners used to be put on a water and bread diet, which was actual not even that bad. So here it says no happy drinks in prison. And don't take any sugars in an isolation cell because they will make you depressive. Anyway, the intake of sugars will make the body to digest the sugars first. And the real food, so the nutritive values of your food, won't get absorbed. And in a prison cell, this will literally drive you mad.
when I wrote that text about the differences between a soldier and a warrior. Well, we could now add the carburetor diet to the warrior versus soldier text and a couple of more things I've told you in the meantime. So you have to choose between, here it says, warrior versus soldier. So this is actually the real low carb diet, as carb is short for carburetor, the carburetor diet. So here it says, the real low carb diet, and carb stands for this thing here, a carburetor. And here as well is a carburetor, where it says on the t-shirt, I'm on a all carb diet. So an all carburetor diet. Anyway, I was in a very bad shape every time I left the Swiss prison for political prisoners. I was in a very bad shape, both physically and mentally. But due to the carburetor diet and some other techniques, I was able to rebuild myself afterwards and survive. It says Swiss torture, oxygen deprivation. So for those who want to join me, in the fight against evil and come to France. I will teach you all the techniques and make a warrior out of you. There are the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. Food is earth and comes out of the earth. And earth becomes fire when combusted and digested. Only if the air intake of the carburetor is well adjusted. Happy drinks give a false sensation of fire and actually kill the fire. I can tell you, you'll need a lot of that internal fire for the end times. And I'll teach you that when you come and join me in the field so we can make an army to pay a visit to the Octagon in the Alps. And here it says, warrior versus soldier. Here it says, the biblical snake, and here are the intestines. And this is the true essence of the biblical snake, where your intestines are like a snake with a big mouth on top of that, which you need to control in order to tame the beast and become human. Because you can't just wolf down your scuff to a max, like a predator, and then fall asleep somewhere and be animal-like. Especially in our age, of culinary abundancy, the inner snake needs to be controlled. And be aware, the abundancy will come to an end soon. Digesting also takes energy using the blood flow from somewhere else, making you sleepy when you eat like a lion. And especially in prison, you just can't afford to go to sleep and turn your back on them. And neither can you in the end times. So here you see the intestines, here you see the brain. And here it says digestion draws blood away. Too much food and happy drinks will destroy your intrinsic energies, killing the warrior inside. This is the true essence of the biblical snake. If you want to survive the end times, you must kill the snake first. To kill the snake 
in the sense of controlling it, of course. And after this metaphorical, biblical snake, which we all have, now to the real beast of the Alps. Due to the 26 years of incessant Swiss terror, my children grew up without their father and have become strangers to me now and vice versa. Five and a half years in Swiss prisons because of nothing. Had to run away from Switzerland from 2002 till 2004 and now for the last eight years being absent altogether for 15 years from my family. This happens when you criticize the Swiss beast and their Nazi banks and reveal their true history to the world. Then they will destroy you and your family, which is what Swissy deliberately did. And they even enjoyed it doing so. As the Swissies consciously and as a whole made this alliance with evil in 1291 while smiling to the whole world under the veil of neutrality and what not. So here you see William Tell from 1291. It says, An apple a day keeps the Swiss away. Veritas temporis filia. Truth is the daughter of time. You will not silence me, Swissy, and you won't silence the truth either, Swissy.